Yeah, yeah, I'll show you what oh, all right, Chauncey here, who we just met here on the pier. He's going to show us how he's fishing. Last time we went to Ventura, we caught a stingray at least this big. H holy mackerel, this four to five foot wide stingray. Four to five foot wide stingray. Wow. We ended up having to use like those anchor hooks. Yep. Like the treble anchor ones. Yep. To take it out because we were scared it was going to rip our wired line. Wow. Imagine wired. Okay, so. This is, this is, um. So here's the rig Chauncey is using. So I'm going to dump this way, this, all this bait. Use that fresh fish. All right, he's going for fresh fish. You got what, about three ounces of weight down there or four? Oh, um, that is four right there. Okay, so he's got a four inch uh, pyramid weight at the bottom. And, and then he's got a great big hook up here. He's fishing for stingrays here on the end of the pier. Yeah, they mostly come out at night, but the ones that are really hungry, they will come out right now. If you get a bait in front of them, they're gonna eat it. Yes, that's for sure. Especially no bones. This is all the bones. I'm a, I'm a chef, so okay. I know what I'm doing. So when you catch this um, stingray, are you gonna eat him? Um, depending on the size, if he's like uh, at least a foot, I can't. You know, I want it to be meaty. Uh -huh. I can't just be, um, I can't be that Just savage. skin, yeah. yeah. So we for sure need at least a, a two footer. Okay. To get a good meal out of it. That's a pretty good underhand cast by Chauncey there. He's, he's got it out there, he's fishing. Is this a live mackerel that you caught here? Yeah, live mackerel. Oh, so, so he caught a mackerel, and I said live, but he's cut it up. It's filleted, so it can't be alive anymore. But it is definitely a great bait to have here. And here he's bringing up his sabiki rig. This is where you're catching your bait, right? Yes, sir. So that looks like about a number 12 hook, maybe a 10, huh? Yeah. So he's fishing a sabiki rig. Looks like squid on it. Is that squid as bait? It's squid as bait. I'm gonna change it to mackerel now. Okay, so changing that to mackerel. What are you hoping to get on the sabiki? Um, at least a good size mackerel. So I can, it could last me at least a good two throws. Okay. And then again, add it, you know, hopefully for another mackerel. Cool. A little baby, a little baby bass. There's somebody down there. They've got a jack smelt hooked by the tail, fishing it on the bottom. Throw the way the guts, but the guts is actually the best part for the fish. He just threw that. He just threw that fish was still alive. He just pulled it off the hook and tossed it in. Yes. They must be leaving. A fresh bait is always better. There we go. Somebody's hooked up down there. Oh, look at that mackerel coming up. We're, I'm gonna come back, Chauncey. There we go. There's a nice mackerel being caught here on the pier. All right, that's the biggest fish I've seen come in today. No, I hope not. Hopefully, I saw a bigger one in a bucket. Did you? Yeah. Oh, no. So, are you catching them for dinner or are you catching them for bait? Um, we give them away to people. So, what they decide to do with it, it's up to them. Oh, okay. I gave a couple to this guy. He used it for crab, for crab fishing and stuff like that. Okay. Bet him. Yeah. I have a YouTube channel. Do you mind if I put you on it? No, not at all. Totally all right. Fine. I'm cousin Jim. Awesome. So. I'm gonna do it. It'll be within a week. My Santa Monica Pier fishing will be up. So, so anyways, just caught a nice mackerel. He caught it on the Sabiki rig here. Uh, they they catch him and give him away. And he saw that piece of bait drop off there just like I did. So cool. Well, thanks. I hope you catch a pile of them. You look like you're getting ready to leave. All righty. Thanks for the video. So you caught one Chauncey and I missed it? Yeah. So that's a jack smelt? Yes, sir. So we just gotta save them. So the school of max. Oh yeah, I see them down there. There's a school of mackerel down there. The water's way clearer here than where it was on Huntington the other day. The problem with those jack smelts is their mouth is so soft, you can't hardly catch them. Uh, Chauncey's fishing here. He's got this jack smelt that's trying to get away. He caught this mackerel for bait. He's doing a good job out here. Right. For anyone that you don't want to 
wants to come out and fish, send him on the computer. Don't be shy. If the fish ain't shy to bite, better not be shy to fish. Exactly. How often do you come out here, Chauncey? Actually, I haven't came out here for like at least a good month because okay. I was just so busy in my work. I didn't have time, but when I do have time, I come out like every Saturday, Friday, twice a week. So this is a this is a lifestyle for you. And your jack smelts loose down there. We don't want him to get away. There with the squid. But remember, if you switch up your bait all the time. Remember, don't keep it the same thing. Unless it's going good for you, then keep it safe. All right, everybody. That's Chauncey there, a chef that fishes the pier all the time. Looked like he knew what he was doing. So uh, we'll walk around and come back and see if he's caught some more. I just missed it, but this guy just threw out a crab trap or lobster trap. They fish these hoops off the boats, off the piers, off the jetties. Jim, I just met Mike out here on the pier. He's the man that will set you up. If you come here to Santa Monica Pier and you need anything, he sells fishing gear. You want to buy rods, reels, bait. He catches live, fresh bait. He, inside, you got piles of hooks for sale and shark rigs. You know, I love to shark fish, so I wouldn't mind seeing a thresher come up here today. Anybody catch one today, Mike? No, uh, not today. Not today? All righty. So check out Mike out here on Santa Monica Pier. You'll find him. He's here often. All right, cousin Jim here with my new buddy we Gonzalo go. here. From the hood. From the hood. <laughs> We're out here fishing on the Santa Monica Pier. Yes, sir. I'm trying to. Have you I'm caught anything trying. today, Gonzalo? We did. If you look at the table, you know, we got the fish guts right there. There's the fish guts and stuff. Yeah. On the day. No? So I'm keeping Not the camera away from his homies there. <laughs> they don't want to be videoed. They must be running from the law or something. <laughs> <laughs> You already know we are. <laughs> so anyways, we're just out here having fun. I just I just asked a question and got answered from these fellows. If you are fishing on the pier, you do not have to have a fishing license. So that's good to know because I did not want to buy an out-of-state fishing license to come fish here, but I'm going to do it now. What are you hoping to catch, Gonzalo? Whatever I can, you know, for my first time, you know, I'm trying to just buck it, see what I gotta do. All right, he's out here doing what he's gotta do. Look at the size of that crab. So, so what kind of crab is that? It's a spider crab. It's a spider crab. And he, and he got wrapped up in his line here. Yeah. Okay. Do you eat the claws on these guys? Yeah, they're good. Or do you eat everything on these guys? Yeah, All right. Mm -hmm. Adam, great looking spider crab. Look how his one claw has just been crushed though. He's... So this is a spider crab caught in a fishing line just here on the end of the pier. That's a good looking spider crab. All right, cousin Jim and Hunter Ventura. Let's see what he's got. like what you're seeing hit the subscribe button so behind me I've got the roller coaster and the Ferris wheel everything shut down because of COVID 
On the 15th, it's all supposed to open up. Guess I was wrong about it all being shut down. There just went a roller coaster.